Alexandria Bay, fondly called as Alex Bay, is located in the Thousand Islands region of New York. This vacation paradise offers many ways of exploration, like helicopter tour, hopping on a hot air balloon, and the most popular is boat tours, which is open from May to mid-October. We chose the Uncle Sam boat tours for exploring the sea Thousand Islands on the blue waters of the St. Lawrence River. As we approached the Heart Island, these stunning stone structures captivated our attention. Heart Island is one among the thousand islands with an area of five acres, owned by millionaire George Gold in the 1900s, dedicated to his beloved wife Louise, where he built his gorgeous gold castle and his equally stunning surrounding structures. However, Louis tragically passed away in 1904 in a heartbroken George Bolt order a stop on all construction and never returned to the island. For 73 years, the castle remained unsupervised and at the mercy of natural elements, till the Thousand Islands Bridge Authority acquired, renovated and restored the splendor of the castle, much like Bolt had intended to. The castle was designed as a summer dream home for the Bolt family. The castle has six stories and 120 rooms. The upper floors have been left in the original half constructed state. Here we have glimpses of the grand hallway and stairs, the dining hall, bedroom, the ballroom, reception room, also the family suites, library, billiards room, according to the lavish lifestyle of the rich and influential of that era. These paintings, ambience and incredible interiors reflect the Bolt family's love for beauty, art and music and they certainly had an aesthetic eye. The castle terrace provides a magnificent view of the St. Lawrence River. And this is the Duff Court or the Henry, which was the first structure to be built on the island. This 60-foot tower was a birdhouse which was used by Bold for his fancy fowl collection. Meanwhile, if you like the content of this channel, do subscribe and like and check out our other videos and shorts about this place in my channel. You will find individual plants in multiple gardens throughout the heart island. Just in front of the Duff Court is the Italian garden. This picturesque area possesses lovely marble statues representing the four seasons of the year and a tall fountain centerpiece. Coming out of the castle, we relaxed a bit in the stone gazebo. Just near to this gazebo, there is the Playhouse or Elster Tower, one of the most architecturally unique structures in the island. This structure was used for recreational activities and had a two-lane bowling alley, billiard room, library, theatre and shell room, kitchen etc. The Bolt family actually used the tower until Louise's death in 1904. The tower is made up of red sandstone and the interiors today seem to be quite rustic and ancient. Fashioned as a medieval tower with an arched bridge and clock tower, the powerhouse looks nothing less than a fairy tale castle and is very photogenic. It once housed generators to supply electricity to the entire island. Archway or Watergate was for official entry of guests, yachts, and launches. You can also spot a lighthouse and a yacht house nearby. These are some of the other islands we passed by, some of them being in the Canadian waters, since the St. Lawrence River is shared by both US and Canada. This is the Thousand Islands Bridge, connecting both the countries. We passed by Wallace Island, Deer Island, Zalikon Island, etc. In Millionaire's Row, you can see some lavish mansions on the island, privately owned by some of the wealthiest. Lovers of nature, architecture and aesthetics, you will love this place. And even after coming back, you will feel your heart is still stuck in the heart island.